Welcome to One Under. I'm your host, Adon. And in today's episode, we would like to talk about the situation with our brothers and sisters from Venezuela. We all know that they were celebrating the presidential election. And apparently the person in power doesn't want to accept that the country, the community, the society, and the whole region doesn't want him in power. And it's kind of sad to see what they're going through. It's kind of sad to see the things that they been going through. And I just want to ask, you know, I don't really talk about politics because sometimes there's places and things that do not concern to others or places and things that doesn't really have to do anything with us. But this is not about politics anymore. It's about human being. It's about life. It's about people suffering. It's about people going through a hardship. It's about people going through a hard situation. And I would like to ask everybody that are listening or watching this video to pray for Venezuela, to pray for the person in power, to pray for the person that would like to be in power, and to pray for all our brothers and sisters from that country. It's hard. It's really, you know, overwhelming to see what they're going through, even though, you know, it's a country that it could be far from us, it could be close to us, it could be near us, but the thing is that it's really hard. It's it's really hard. It's it's tough to see, you know, children. It's tough to see females, old ladies, old folks, going through what they're going through, just because of one person. And even the military, even the 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 army, even you know the local police, the local uh, law enforcement, and everybody else is like they don't want to play side. They neutral, if we could say that, because they know what's going on. And they know that the whole country is suffering just because of a one person. And to be honest with you, you know, when things like that happen, we could see how ambitious men could be, how ambitious a man could be, and how that ambition could destroy a whole country, which is what's going on right now. It's hard to say that Venezuela is an oil country. It's a, oil, it's a country that produces oil. And basically, that's the black gold. Oil. Because wherever they have gold, uh, oil, you know, it's pretty much gold. Due to the fact that because of the oil, people can, can produce, or country could produce, can produce um, electricity, power, and so on. So in this little brief um, episode, I just want to ask people to pray for Venezuela. And if you could help any way or anyhow, you know, by posting what's going on, on in social media, by voicing uh, your opinion, by saying, you know, stop, by saying help or anything that could be beneficial for the country, just do it. Because today is them. Tomorrow could be us, and you know it's situ those are situations that nobody can really escape from it because of the fact that men are like that. In the book of Genesis, in the Bible, God gave the power to men to pretty much oversee over the uh, plants, over the sea, over animal, uh, over pretty much everything on earth, but He never said to oversee over a human being, or over life. So just pray for Venezuela. And, you know, if you see them out there, if you could help them with whatever or anything, just do it. Because like I said before, today is us. Or to, today is them. Tomorrow could be us. So um, this is all I want to say. And please, like I said, just pray for them. And... Stay tuned for more. One under.